I was waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit. Today's that day. So I spent the morning milling up some cedar that I need for the trim on the windows here inside the bus. Getting those planed down to size two. But now that it's warmed up, I think this afternoon I'm going to work on getting the ceilings painted in here. I was able to finish up getting all the holes filled with either screws or rivets. Making these patch panels out of some leftover steel that I had from the Squire build they did a few years ago. And pretty much have everything set to go so that once I paint it, I will be able to start assembling the walls and getting the windows pulled out and resealed. Uh, everything's all taped off because I'm going to use my sprayer that I normally use for spraying my cars, but it will work fine in here. And get it on there nice and evenly and get all the screw heads and everything all covered pretty well as well. So. I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'll be able to film it while I'm doing it just because of the mist that'll be in here. I don't want it to get all over the camera, but I'll do, I'll try it. If not, I'll just show you an after, you know, the before and afters, uh, what we'll be able to do. So this is my excitement for the afternoon. Things went very well with painting the ceiling here, as you can kind of see. I got everything painted today. Got all the plastic down. That way this can set up overnight. It's a little tacky still. Since it wasn't automotive paint, it was just a regular Rust-Oleum enamel um, with some acetone mixed in with it for a five to one ratio so I could spray it on there. It was just such a huge cloud in here that I tried to set up the camera, but it really wasn't gonna show much other than just a cloud vapor in here. Uh, I did have respirator and all that stuff on so that wasn't a concern for me uh, I did have some cross ventilation going on, but uh, I didn't feel like can't cover my camera with little speckles of paint, so uh, I just opted to show you what the the uh, after spraying Looks like I did put the panel up here for the mini split to mount up there and uh, It will stay up there indefinitely now all in all, it looks really good. It's not too far off from what the original blue was that was up here. You can kind of see it down here. Uh, it might be hard to tell, but you can see there's a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a grayer color to it. And then there's this lighter blue, which is the new color. It will be the exterior color of the bus as well. And since I had it, I just used it inside here. And then we'll spray the outside of the bus the same color blue um, too. So it'll all kind of tie in, but... I do have my foam down here. I don't know if I explained what I was going to do with that, but I ended up getting pink foam and then cutting it an inch and five eighths wide strips this way. And then I painted it with an aluminum, just aluminum enamel. Uh, you can't really spray paint the foam too much. It causes a weird reaction with the foam. So I just rolled it on there using some regular uh, canned enamel. And just did the one face of it because what I'm going to do is use these once I pull these windows are all going to have to come out. Let me find one that's not in the sun. But <clears throat> the windows are all going to have to come out so that I can reseal them because uh, the rubberized caulking or whatever they use on the back side is, is kind of failing after all these years. So I'm going to put new butyl rubber caulk uh, back there and... What they had was a big black wide metal strip, and I know I showed that in a previous video, that was compressing the windows on both sides in, and it was screwed into this yellow channel that's back behind here. Well, now that I've built out the wall that inch and a half, those black channels aren't going to work so well. I was thinking about incorporating them, but eh, it's just not going to work the way I wanted to. So what my plan is, is... Once I remove the windows and reseal them, I'll take the foam and set it in the side here. And then I have milled and plain cedar from the property here that's going to go on the face of this. So I'm going to put a piece of foam on this side and then the cedar will box it in. It'll push against the foam, which will then push against the window to kind of get it to seal in place. But it'll also act as an insulator so that when the aluminum does start to sweat or have condensate on it because of the temperatures, it's gonna have 
uh, foam pressed up against it versus uh, wood or something else that might potentially mold or mildew. Uh, the foam is a little bit more resilient, so I won't have to worry about that as much. I know it can get some mildew on it, but uh, with it being an insulator as well, I'm hoping that it will, you know, it'll have a better effect on that. So that's the plan. I'll work on that uh, probably tomorrow after the ceiling has hopefully dried up overnight. I don't really want to create too much dust in here with with it being tacky. Otherwise, I'll have all kinds of little goodies stuck inside the paint. So that's uh, that's where we're at for today. So we'll uh, you know we'll wrap it up for today, clean things up, and then uh, get going on it again tomorrow. <laughs> Got these first three windows removed. Had to scrape off most of the old rubberized caulking that was in here. Uh, it does look like there was some water down here, so there is some areas on this window where there was a little bit of water leaking in, so it's good I'm pulling them and resealing them. But otherwise, it looked pretty good. I do have some rust over here. I'll probably hit that with a wire wheel and then with a little bit of um, rust encapsulator real quick before I put the new window in. But scrape the old windows too. Um, got that rubberized caulking off of that. There's only two here because I've got the emergency window outside and I'm not gonna be reusing that in here, but I do have some of the windows from when I took out these ones here that I'm gonna use as one in here so that I'll have all three of the same windows. But I'll bring one of those ones in here in just a little bit when I get ready to install that. But I just got to finish up cleaning up these a little bit, fix this this little spot right here with that little bit of uh, rust that's forming. And it's just some surface rust, so that should be pretty easy. And then I'll get everything else set up to start putting the windows back in and putting the um, foam uh, for the compression piece. And then also my, my cedar inserts to, to hold them in there. So we're gonna see how this goes. first set of windows is back in it went actually pretty good and I made it so that I can remove the windows if I ever had to so I have screws holding in the trim rather than using trim nails and putting it up there that way if ever one of these windows starts to leak or gets broken I can simply remove the trim and pull it out swap it out for a new one and have it done relatively quickly 
and not have to disturb too much, especially if we end up having uh, that happen while we have guests or renters or something staying in it. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I will have to pull everything back out and I'll probably end up gluing these in place um, once I verify that everything works out well um, with this. But uh, right now I just wanted to get them put in there so that way that when I put this outer trim piece on it would compress the foam against the frame, the window frame, to push it into the uh, rubber butylene caulk that I have on there. That way the windows will be sealed up. I do have to go on the outside and caulk them up. Um, along the bottoms too where they originally end up in the corners where they had it there on the bus just prevent any water from getting into those but the um, big thing is is just getting them back in here right now and then I do have to cut a piece of trim wider than this three and a quarter inch that I have here I'll probably do like a five inch or something and I may end up doing something different over here but this wall has to be built out too we'll see what happens with that but I'll probably do like a five and a half inch piece that'll go across the top up here that way this wire loom can tuck it back behind there and then this will meet up with the uh, the bottom of the ceiling panel that's right here kind of cover up this edge too but that's that's to come now I'll just work on getting this row of windows out of here and just keep working my way back but pretty thrilled with how this is uh, looking and going so far. I was able to get the windows all pulled and resealed and get them mostly framed out. And it worked out pretty good. Just in time for the rain to be coming in. So that's good. I'll have to do some more caulking on the outside uh, after it dries up a little bit. But I was able to get this last section in here. Uh, just before it really started uh, storming pretty good here but did these ones the other day or yesterday and didn't didn't film those i uh, was kind of running out of room plus it's pretty repetitive anyway but i got these ones only had these two sets here to finish up today got them done just in time so it's looking pretty good i'll just have to figure out what i'm going to do up here with a top piece for the frame and then i'll get that milled down from uh, from a cedar tree that's laying out there somewhere that'll work to to build enough for all of the you know all the tops all the way around but my next step besides that is I'll probably start putting walls or uh, a finishing wall out here and along here because this is going to be just the galvanized metal that was on the walls originally since it's going to be the living space I figured it would be easy enough to use and then that way it'll be able to keep it clean if somebody gets muddy shoes underneath the counter that's right here or over on this side then too it'd be easy to wipe down plus just sticks with the authenticity of the bus then too but now that that's done and ceilings are painted then I'm able to continue on with getting this inside built out and then hopefully in the next week or so we'll get some more 50 plus degree weather consistently and uh, hopefully some dry weather and then that way I'll be able to get the outside of the bus painted and put it all back together as well so making pretty good progress here just keep chipping away at it and um, you know keep showing you as I'm doing things so thanks for watching you guys